Hey. Thank you, Amber. How are you? Good. How are you? Moving very well. What can I do for you today? Um, I have a question about Illustrator and vector art. Oh, you do, do you? Yes. Okay. Um, oh, boy. Uh, fire away. Um, I was wondering how to turn a more complex image into vector art without having to do it manually in Illustrator. So let me explain a little bit what you're asking before we uh, bring in an expert to show you. Okay. Um, most images are what we call rasterized or bitmaps. That is, uh, they're, they're dots, they're drawings. The way Illustrator works, freehand too, uh, is, is a little different. It actually describes things as geometries, as lines, curves, solid fills. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for instance, um, <laughs> I think Mike just... Uh, uh, pressed a button there on, uh, or something on the laptop, so we just lost him. Um, the, uh, this is an image right here of a beautiful image that Sean Carruthers uh, took of a uh, bee pollinating a flower. Now that's a bitmap. Now to turn that into vector art is going to be complicated because uh, th th there's dots, it, there's, it's, there's, it's hard to describe geometrically all the detail here. What are the images you want to create vectors out of? I'm thinking more of like a person's face. Okay. And then you could use it uh, as, a, as a cartoon art almost, right? Yeah. You know, there's two different schools of thought. Uh, there is, and I'm going to have uh, Sean come in here. In fact, why don't you come in now, Sean? He's going to show us. In, in Illustrator CS2, the most recent version, there is an automated vector conversion program that will take a bitmap like this and convert it. But uh, we, and we've even had experts on who said, well, I'll let Sean show you, and then I'll talk about the alternative choice. So how would, how would he do this? This is your image here. So. Yeah. so first of all, you have to have the image loaded up. You just uh, import it. Um, you say your partner, Eileen, is a graphic artist, works with right. Illustrator all the time, and showed you how to do this. Yes, right. yes, okay. indeed. So credit where we'll credit is Eileen due. Some credit. So once you have the image in, you uh, under go Under Object, under Live object, Trace. Live Trace. You set your tracing options. Now, this is important. If you don't set these options, you're going to get something really unusable. Right. right. So the default is black and white. So it'll give you an outline, basically, if, uh, right. if you're looking for something to color in yourself. If you want to convert it in color, you would change that over to color. Now, you've got maximum colors just down below that, and that's what will determine you know, how much complexity there is to how this How cartoon-like it will look. Right? right, so the default is six, so that'll give you big blotchy patches right. of solid colors. Now, if you wanted to make it a little bit more complicated, you would slide this up. It'll go all the way up to 256 colors, which is a lot. Um, we'll bring it down to, say, 128 or thereabouts. And this is, in other words, you're going to want to play with this right. before you... Uh, so that, that's uh, set the options. Now you go back in there, go into Live Trace, uh, and then Make once those are set. I'm not sure why that didn't set. Live Trace. Okay, for some reason it's uh, not set to do that. It's not remembered. Oh, there oh, it is. We, we hadn't you selected were, it. You were, you were so doing the image. You so select that's... the image, yeah, go okay. into Live Trace, right. and then go Make. All right. And what that will do is it it's will... It's going to actually automatically try to find the curves. Now, experts, and you could say, well, it did a pretty good job. I mean, it looks more cartoon-like. Right, and if you take that up to 256, it will look a lot like the original Let's image. see the handles, though. Now, this okay. is the issue. is Sometimes when you get something like this, you're going to get a lot of handles. That's how, if you've used... You, you, I take it, I've used Illustrator, right, Grant? You use it? Yeah, once in a while. Yeah. Right, and this is only in CS2, by the way. Yeah, this is a new feature. Um, so you go back into the Live Trace menu under Object and click on Expand. And that gives you all the handles. This is all the curves. Now, this is where the experts go, ha! <laughs> That's not what you wanted at all. And it really depends on whether you want something that you can use those curves or not. If you zoom in, you see why it had to have so many handles. Is It's a fairly complex image. Many experts say, and, 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 uh, and we've even had people on the show, the best way to use is just to use the, the, the curve tool, the pen, and, and trace the thing by hand because you'll get a more accurate simpler perhaps but a more accurate map that you can actually use it really you know you and, and they even say don't start with this because there's so many handles on here you're going to it's going to be a pain to try to figure out but i think that the new the new uh, capabilities are pretty good you just have to play with the settings to get at what you want now uh we uh, i of, often have cartoons done we've had one of amber done and i have one done by uh, nitro zach and snaggy who do the great joy of tech uh, cartoons and uh, and she uses uh, Illustrator to do that and does the same thing basically she'll take a face uh, and raster uh, not rasterize it uh, 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 trace it basically into vectors vectorize I guess you'd call it and is able to get pretty good results that way but I think she does it by hand in fact she uses a very old version of Illustrator to do it so um, it really it depends on the result but I would try this do you have CS2 Grant? Yes. 
Ah, that's why you don't have this capability. There, there, there is a somewhat of a capability in CS. It's not good at all. It doesn't work at all. So really, I think you're going to have to use a curve tool and do it by hand. Okay. Okay? Sounds good. Hey, thanks, Grant. I appreciate the question. Thank you. Amber, she's the queen of Firefox extensions. Thank you, Sean. I appreciate it. Thanks to Eileen.